Minister of Justice gives Sudiri Rupareria 450 million shilling in rent. The Minister of ICT gives Sudiri 320 million. The Minister of Gender at Simbamanyu pays Sudiri 250 million. The Anti Corruption Court in Kororo gives Sudiri 180 million shilling per month. The Minister of East African Affairs pays Sudiri 280 million shilling at Kingdom. The Equal Opportunities Commission pays Sudiri 86 million shilling at Kingdom. Minister of Internal Affairs pays another 60 million shilling because of some other smaller departments. Parliament of Uganda pays 860 million shilling to Sudiri every month. Presidential advisors, uh, these ones are. Uh, Ameria Chambade, Kamuntu, Sarah Chiyingi, who sit at Kingdom, every month they pay 66 million shilling in rent. Uganda Revenue Authority pays Sudir 300 million shilling for a warehouse on Kampara Road. The Electoral Commission pays 300 million shilling to Sudir for a warehouse in Intinda. Which means, if you total this, that every month, Government pays Sudir every month 2.9 billion shilling, which translates into 97 million shilling per day and 4 million shilling per hour and 600,000 per minute. So every minute, Sudir collects 600,000 from government. Mr. M7 will need now to tell us because he now wants to add ostensibly to construct a, a, a conference facility for a meeting of non-aligned movement. What is so special with Sudil? And how does Sudil sniff these opportunities in the government? How does he get to know? The same Sudil took over land uh, formerly of CMY, is about to finish a building there, and then you'll see government departments running there. The same Sudil took over land for Chitante School near Kampara Parents, is constructing. You will see government running there. What is so special with Sudil? Is it Sudil or Mr. M7 and his agents are hiding under Sudil? We cannot afford to give Sudil 100 billion shilling. Yet we are now stuck as government to the extent of borrowing money from money lenders from Kenya. Mr. M7 must tell us if it is him who is taking the money, then we will know. And I want to warn Mr. M7 today you have guns surrounding you, you are in charge. Tomorrow you are not in power. That's what happened to Zuma in South Africa and Gupta. Combined they were freezing South Africans, which Sudir now is doing with Museven. Really, does, do the NRM MPs want to come back in parliament and behave like they are drunkards who have opposed this 3% supplementary and now after drinking and uh, burro roasting in Chankwans, they come singing that it is now okay? It will be the surprise of the century, and I wait to see these MPs how they will behave when they return from Chankwans.